So, what are you going to say? Hey, kids, I've got a wonderful surprise. No, I'm just going to tell them my happy little family's got a little bit bigger, that's all. Don't say that. They think I'm pregnant. Well, you're not, are you? <laughs> oh, damn. I've got cold feet. Well, I'll just go back inside the b and I'll warm them up for you. <laughs> Vicky, Dennis, oh, they must have gone out. Nice place you got here. I told you you were getting quite domesticated in my old age. Uh, do you want some coffee? Yeah, thanks. Did you still take sugar? Oh, uh, yeah, one, please. What happened to you last night, then? Mind your own. Oh, no, go on, tell me. He obviously doesn't want to, Vicky. Must be hiding something. Yeah. What do you reckon? Hello, you must be Sharon. I'm Chrissy. So how do you two know each other? Are you going to tell her? Chrissy's my wife. This is a wind-up, right? No, it's not. So who is she? How long have you known her? We met in Spain seven years ago. I took a job in Den's bar. So, have you brought us any more brothers and sisters? That's the point. <laughs> when do you go and get us a drink, Sharon, and then we can all sit down and have a chat? Yeah. No, this is nice, isn't it? You and me having a drink and a laugh together, just like old times. Well, better not be. Listen, Ben, if I'm staying with you, let's get one thing straight. This is absolutely your last chance. Do you get it? Of course. Things can't go back to the way they were. Well, they won't, will they? I'm a family man now, but a nice little business. You've got too much to do? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, I've got to pick up the course. Um, I'll be back in a minute. I'll get you a drink. Yes, please. Yeah, hi, darling. Listen, I'm sorry. Something's come up. We're really going to have to cool it for a while. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not giving you a load of old toffee. Oh, come on, you know me well enough by now. Well, as soon as I can, darling. And I do mean so, and I promise you it'll be well worth the wait. Yeah, okay. Yeah, catch you soon. Cheers. Bye, love. Morning. All right, darling? All right. Must have overslept. No, you deserve it. Well, don't say that. I'll be getting into bad habits. <laughs> so what you having then? You have got to get this sorted now. Look, it's early days yet. If Sharon thinks we've kept this from her, it's going to be a lot worse in the long run. You've got to tell her about my steak in the club tonight. Come on. But I'm your wife, Den. She's got to accept that. Look, the club's Sharon's life. She's the boss. That's the way it is. What, even if I own a chunk of it? You'll get your share, all right. Look, can't you find something else to do with your time and talents? Well, I will. Hey, thanks. Yeah, fine, thank you. Yep. Why aren't you going to introduce us? Oh, yeah, Chrissy, Ian, Ian, Chrissy. Oh, yeah. You're my wife. See the blonde with the tan? It's Den's wife. Get away. No, it is. I just don't tell Ian. Idle gossip. Never listen to it. No, you just spread it, didn't you, Doc? <laughs> what do you think? Oh. What, her? Mm. Oh, just his type. Cheap. Things didn't work out for us in Spain, so we thought we'd try again over here. New mm. job, new place. So, what are you doing? Well, nothing at the moment. I'm unemployed. Well, you want to try catering? I mean, it's a very underrated profession. I'll give you a try one of my chippy if you like. I don't think so. Chris is a trained hairdresser and beautician. Very good too, she is. Yeah? I'll, I'll tell you what, you want to have a chat with my mate Kate? She runs a nail bar. Okay. Oh, come on over, Kate. Hiya. Yeah. You all right? Hey, what's up with Sharon? I was all dolled up to go out and she cancels on me. I haven't got the fault yet, darling. Was that a drink? Yeah, I'll get them. Um, I'm Kate, by the way. Oh, hi, I'm Chrissy. I'm Den's wife. Yeah, she's a trained beautician and hairdresser. You want to have a chat with her? Yeah, yeah, I will do. I'll just get the drinks and fist. Mm. No, I'll, I'll give you that. There's free stuff. She seems nice. Yeah. That's a fresh start. So this is where you've been hiding. All from you? Oh, never. Mm -hmm. What's this? Quotes. Everything I need to set up shop at Kate's. Check will be fine. I think I'll shop around. Well, you? Yeah, of course. Why not? Because uh, you don't know one end of a crimping iron from the other. I need proper stuff, Dan. Otherwise, there's no point starting up. Well, that's the beauty of capitalism. For every new business starting, there's another one that's going belly up. Think of all that lovely bankrupt stock out there. Just what's on the list. No tat, and definitely nothing off the back of a transit. Otherwise, I'll show you exactly what I can do with a crimping iron. Bye. 
I'll leave you two mystics to it. Uh, hang on, Mr. Watts. Talking to the future. Any sign of my hairdressing equipment? It's in hand. I'm picking it up this afternoon. I don't want any tat. Oh, you took your time. Well, Trace our way across the East End again, isn't this is quality stuff. Oh, well, I'm glad you approved. I was expecting cheap and nasty. Where'd you get it? Oh, no, my second thoughts don't answer that. I don't know in the moment. Hiya. How's it going? No, oh, she's doing all right. Just back here, it's a bit quiet. Well, all that's missing is a tumble week. Are you trying to help? No. Look, it's about a pickle. Mm, yeah, sure. It's early days, yeah. Fancy manicure? Bye. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. What are you after? Just admiring the view. <laughs> You're looking nearly a million dollars. Nearly? Yeah. What's wrong with it? Well, needs a perk up. Don't we all? I'm just thinking about Chrissy and getting her a few customers. Start the ball rolling for her. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll get it. You want me to go along there sometime? That's a fact. Shall I mention it to some of the others? Doc, Pauline? Oh, without mentioning your name, of course. You're a mind reader. It is amazing. Well, it certainly is. It's like they were all waiting when we came to Owens. Well, I was right all along then. Yes, well, don't get used to it. Good day. Yeah, you could say that. I don't think she stopped once the floodgates opened. Oh, got mm. out of practice. <laughs> Cramping. Yeah. Where off I do? Oh, yeah, don't worry. The first month's always the worst. Mm. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yeah, bye. Okay, tell me you had nothing to do with it. With what? All those people turning up all of a sudden? That was down to you, wasn't it? Does it matter? A bit. Okay, so I thought I'd give you a hand. Why? You wore a little on me, you couldn't hack it on my own. No, I was just trying to help. So now. Oh, come on, relax. How am I going to make this work if you go around putting the frighteners on our customers? Oh, believe me, it wasn't quite like that. And how does it make me look? <sighs> okay, so I help get the panthers inside. But you're the reason they're going to keep coming back again. So why don't you just enjoy the fact that the day went well? I can do this on my own, without your help. Clear? Crystal. Don't tell me it's your birthday. What's it to you, Dan? Well, I don't mean like that. I'm just trying to be nice. Yeah, right. OK. It's my birthday. Well, don't you think we ought to celebrate it? I don't know. Depends what you've got in mind. <laughs> We've got some unfinished business, remember? Don't push your luck. What is it with you? What are you on about? Oh, is it a medical condition? Fear of ageing or just sheer bloody mindedness? Yeah, some birthday kiss, that's all. Oh, right. Well, don't you think you're overreacting a bit? Well, you're concerned, no. Would well, you think I go after every woman I meet? No, not every woman, just the ones with a pulse. What do you take me for? If you mess with me, everything you've got. That's not very loving, is it, sweetie? You don't want me as an enemy, Dan. I know you too well. Is that a threat? No. It's more a declaration, sweetie. Yeah, hi, it's me. If I need to see her, she's really doing my head in. No, I just need to see a friendly face for once, that's all. No, no, don't worry about that. I'll sort her out. OK, cheers, bye. Well, to you, obviously. It wasn't like that. Oh, no? She had something lodged between her teeth and you were giving her a helping tongue, were you? That's gross, even for you. Well, it was gross from where I was standing. Look, I promise you, there's nothing going on. Oh, you promised me. Oh, that really sets my mind at rest. I swear, then. On the Bible? Yeah, if you want. Oh, now that's sweet. Because I know that touching it makes your skin sizzle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with me, Dan. I mean it. Bye. Lunch? Yep. Cheese roll. Thought I'd look dangerously for once. Well, I was going to ask you to have lunch with me. Oh, we're well, just too late. Don't. Oh, come on, Chrissy. You can't stay mad at me forever. Well, it depends what you've done, doesn't it? See ya. Hello, darling. Uh, you know me, just trying to keep out of trouble, that's all. Really? What sort of thing? Ah, you're an amazing woman, you know that? Well, I look forward to finding out about that. Oh, I don't know. Later, maybe. See what I can do. OK, bye. Nice afternoon? Not particularly, no. Why was your phone switched off? And what's with the suit? Well, the reason my phone was switched off, because that's what you do at funerals, the same with the suit. Funeral? Yeah. Oh. 
So what did you think I was doing then? <laughs> of course, yeah. yeah. Well, suddenly you go AWOL, you don't say a word, you just disappear. What was I supposed to think? Well, that's not very charitable, is it? No. Well, I bet you're feeling a little bit silly now, aren't you? Yes. So, well, let's go and sit down, I'll get you a drink, and maybe I can think of something to cheer you up with. There you go. Oh, babe. Oh, you've really gone to town. I try my best. Oh. And there I was thinking you might be being naughty. I was wrong. Oh, that's very kind of you to say so. Because now I know you're being naughty. <laughs> You've got a very suspicious mind. Anyone ever told you that? Only when they know I'm onto them. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, hello, darling. Listen, I'm just phoning to see if you're free tomorrow afternoon. Great. OK, I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Can't even powder my nose without you getting on the phone. It's business. <laughs> what kind of business takes place at this time of night? The kind that's keeping you in the lap of luxury that you become accustomed to. I thought we were supposed to be having a fresh start then. It is. Stop worrying. Oh, I'm not worrying. But you should be if you're playing Casanova again. Look, I've told you it's business now. Go on, press the redial button, check for yourself. Obviously, I'm going to turn out to look like an idiot, but go ahead. Go All right. Good. Now, can we just... Relax and enjoy ourselves. Cheers. Cheers. Hello. No, I'm just uh, trying to make sure we're still on for later. Great. OK, I'll text you when and where. OK. Bye. Good girl. Uh, what's the matter? Broke your arms? No breakfast? No, Mr Sexist. Oh, it is part of my conjugal rights, of which there are many. Mmm, it's all. Aren't you two a bit old for that? Uh, you'll be exactly the same at his age. had a meeting? Yeah, later. So what are you doing? Just sitting around? No, I'm not just sitting around. I'm working on a game plan. Big difference. Mm -hmm. Come on. You must be at a loose end. What with Alfie being away? You say anything like that to me again, and I mean ever. And I'll bar you for life. See the old watch charm still working? <sighs> Tried calling you earlier. Oh, battery died on me. Oh. What did you want? Just wanted to say hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> want a drink? Nah, you're all right. Might give somebody a crew cut by accident. Well, judging by the state of some of the badly packed rucksacks around here, they'd look better for it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you want to be the first? Uh, no, thank you, darling. What little air I've got, I want to keep. Mm, fair enough. How'd your meeting go? I haven't had it yet. Oh, something come up? Sort of, yeah. Oh, you're all right. I'll, I'll get you that drink. Sharp! Can I borrow your mobile? Yeah, sure. Who are you phoning? OK, got a hot tip. Oh, so your battery isn't dead? Well, I must have sprung back to life. Yeah, well, I wish I had a phone like that. It wasn't convenient to talk to earlier. I'd love to know why. I don't want to discuss it. Come on, Dan, I'm a big girl. You can tell me anything. What is it? Some job? What are you planning? Oh, believe it or not, I was actually doing some good. <laughs> Can't see you doing charity work somehow. I was giving some advice to Edith. Oh, well, I hope it was tips on how to be charming. A bit more than that. We just found out he might be the father of a kid on the square. Who's kid? The one the mechanic thinks it is. He could have said. Well, apart from the shock of him finding out, he didn't want anyone to know. I didn't know you cared. His dad was my best mate and Pete's not around anymore, so I was just looking after him. Who is it his kid? I don't know. Oh, didn't see that one coming, did I? I doubt anyone would. Don't say anything I can. Oh, I was going to put a sign up in the salon. Well, they go back. Hello, sweetheart, it's me. Listen, I'm sorry, but the day hasn't quite panned out the way I planned it. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Yeah, bye. Another me? Who's it with? Oh, you wouldn't know. Miss that bloke I had to cancel yesterday. He wasn't too pleased about it. Mm. What exactly are you and he trying to set up? Well, come along, see if yourself. He'd be dead impressed. Yeah, might just do that. Um, hang on a minute, Zoe. Is it? Look, I'm sorry to spring this on you, but the guy's just phoned. He wants to meet now. Well, now? Yeah, I tried to put him off, but he wasn't having it. Can you come? Well, no, I can't let Zoe down. <sighs> well, I don't suppose there's any guarantee he's going to put any business my way anyway. Well, you can still go. I can meet him another day if you need me to. All right, sweet. OK, wish me luck, man. Wish See you later. Up. Bye.
The Hello Gorgeous is me. <laughs> I told you I'd pull it off. I'm on my way. So if you don't want to come shopping with us, what were you planning on doing instead? Chrissy, what have you done with the tea bags? They're in the top cupboard. Guys I can read you like a book. No, you can't. A very thin book. You can't. With very big print. I'm just going to see an old mate, that's all. Uh-huh. I hate it when you say that. And I hate it when you say you're going to meet up with an old mate. What's wrong with that? Because I like to flatter myself that I've chosen to spend my life with an intelligent man. And an intelligent man will remember that his old mates have caused more grief in his life than anyone else. Not half as much as women have. Including being shot and dumped in a canal. Including coming between him and the love of his life. Which is me. Honestly, sweetheart, it's not like that. Honestly, sweetheart, it is. Also, it's your daughter's 18th birthday tomorrow. And much as she'll appreciate the power of your credit card, she'll appreciate your presence much more. I'm not going to let you win on this one day. I'm sorry. I just couldn't help it. OK, I'll call you tomorrow. But <laughs> bye. Ta-da! Look, aren't these the coolest shoes ever? If you like that sort of thing, yeah. Oh, come on, Dad. They're great. Besides, I need breaking in. <laughs> oh, thanks for coming with today, then. Look, you really appreciated it. No, it's my pleasure. I'd best get over to the club and help Sharon set up. All right, see you later. Yeah. Bye. Bye. You forgot your phone. So I did. Ta. I'm off. Where are you going, babe? Oh, just to do my legitimate business. Oh, that'll be a first. Oh, don't start. Look, I'm not doing anything special. I'm just going to do the everyday boring chores that have to be done. I'm not starting. I just thought we could come with you. What? Yeah, you know, keep your company. We'll go for lunch. Oh. Oh, but I thought you were going to do my hair for me. Oh. Look, one of the boring chores I've got to do is to get her main birthday present. And I don't want to spoil the surprise for her, because you know what she's like. Eyes like old. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> I think my mum tried to be a hairdresser once. Yeah? Yeah. Didn't last very long, though. She kind of fancied herself as more of the intellectual type. Mm, that puts me firmly in my place, doesn't it? Oh, yeah? Thought you were going to be gone all day. I am. I just remembered I've got to take my suit to the dry cleaners. You're leaving it a bit late, aren't you? I'd have done that if you'd have asked. No, it's fine. There's one in Lewis and my street that's open till ten. You'll be back before then, though, won't you? Don't panic. I'm not going to miss your party. Why are you going all the way to Lewisham? Get my suit clean. Must be a fantastic cleaners. But I think 11.30 is a little late for anyone to turn up to their daughter's 18th birthday. To be honest, I was starting to get a bit worried about you. Well, oh, don't be. I got a bit tired up, that's all. With what? Handcuffs and wispy little silk scarves? No, I bumped into an old mate. Oh, another one. Lenny McIntyre. Lenny! Oh, you know him? Hey, darling, you just said that as though I ought to, so I'm humouring you. All oh, right. Anyway, he did five years in sight for housebreaking and I met him in the dry cleaners when I was picking up my suit. He's sweeping floors for four quid an hour. Mm. And he was going back to the hostel he lives in there because while he was inside, his missus sold the house and the car and took the two kids and they now live in Canada. So I just bought him a pie and a drink and we just chatted about old times. And all the time we were talking, I couldn't help but think there for the grace of God and Chrissy goes yours truly. Dan, you are so full of bull, do you know that? Yeah. Now, is it right if I go back in and start enjoying the party I'm paying for? No, not yet. Why, what's the matter now? You forgot these.
You were just telling me about this old mate of his, Lenny McIntyre. Poor bloke. Do you know it? Well, he used to a bit. His wife left him, took the kids to Canada. Right. Ten days later, he died of a heart attack. <laughs> some breakfast? Yeah, I'd love some. Good, I'll have eggs and bacon. No, second thoughts, I'm going to save myself for tonight. Tonight? Yeah, you take me out for dinner. Oh, no, I can't do it tonight. Oh, why not? Oh, one of the suppliers is having a PR do. Oh, that sounds nice. I'll enjoy that. It's not that sort of do. It's more of boys' night out mixed with business. Mm, boys' night out. Look, I'll take you out this afternoon as soon as I finish doing the vet. What, are you working on a bank holiday? It has to be done. Tell you what, as a treat, I'll even make you breakfast. How many slices do you want? One or two? Two. Uh. Hi, this is Keith Rothschild at Celebration Printing. Hi, this is Jacinta's mobile. I'm not here, so you know the routine. Yeah. You're back soon. Yeah, yeah, I left a very important VAT receipt and I have a check. Oh, and there I was thinking you couldn't bear to be parted from me. Well, we take that as red, darling. What did Jacinta want? Who? Jacinta, the woman from the wine merchants. What's she want? Well, I don't know who she is. What's well, her name down there, darling? Your handwriting. I didn't write that. How long have you been married to me? I oh, try not to think about that. I'll uh, call the back. I thought you said you were busy. I am. I'm chasing VAT receipts from silly birds like her. Well, let me chase her for you. Well, there's no need. I've got it now. Well, why bother? I want to give her a piece of my mind. Oh, you never learn, do you? You always have a fight when you can just let it go. That's why I dealt with the suppliers in Spain, remember? Yeah, all right. Yeah. See you later. See ya. Yeah, and I want to be with you too. Why? Well... She's on to me, that's why. Oh, don't worry. I'll, uh, listen, uh, I've got to go. I'll speak to you later. Bye. Well, I do. Oh, yeah. You'll do. <laughs> sure I can't tempt you? Lunch? Why? Oh, what? And you and some boring bloke talking business all afternoon? Oh, you're all right. Anyway, I said I'd sit at the back of the registry office with a hairspray. Well, I can't compete then, can I? Sadly, no. Then weren't you feeling left out? Now we're both leading separate working lives. Oh, sweetheart. I don't need to be with you 24-7 to know exactly what you're up to. No, you're right. You don't. Wait. Hey, yeah, cool. Hey, uh, yeah, Luigi, right, it's Dan Watts. Uh, listen, mate, uh, I need something a bit special. Table for two, nice view, where I won't be disturbed. OK. One o'clock, mate. See you then, bye. Oh, drink. Not bad. No, don't think you remember the chance there, sweetheart. Oh, behave. I'm talking about her here. That's because I'm good. I'm really, really good. I know. Do you? Hmm. <laughs> Why don't you come along? You might learn something. There's nothing more I could learn about your dealings, then. <laughs> I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, no, we've uh, had a start yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. 
Like I said, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Darling, you've got your keys. Oh, did I? Oh, I don't know what to do without you, darling. Oh. You'd be lost without me. That's what I keep trying to tell you. <laughs> See ya. Yeah, bye. Hey, cheer up, babe. Any, anybody who think you don't like weddings? Well done, mate. The old dad would be proud of you. She's a lovely girl. Cheers. And if you need any advice about getting your own way, don't come to me. I still haven't worked that one out for myself. <laughs> Too late. Babe, I've got no choice. Well, I thought we might do that new fish place down at the docks. Oh, look, half the setting lotions have run out. I need to chuck the dyes out. Moon on the water, lobster, wine, chill, but expensive. What do you say? I say, stop take. All right, I'll come with you then. <laughs> well, if Kate's babysitting for Ian, you're going to need someone to count the curlers. Mm, hold a thought. What am I going to do with myself? The... Babe, we both know what you're going to do with yourself. You're going to go over to the Vic and have a drink. Well, I suppose I could go out of it and have a very expensive, unchilled, sparkling water, but I think I'll give the lobster a miss. Perfect. Don't wait up. Yeah, no. Hi, it's me. Thought you might like to try that new fish place down at the docks. I know, but you're pretty good at coming up with excuses. Moon on the water, lobster, wine, chill, but expensive. What'd you say? That's my girl. Dan? Babe? Dan? Back already? Yeah, only just. Good timing. Mm. Why is that? Drink. Whiskey. Mm. So, what kept you? One drink turn into three? Well, you know me. Mm. You, Vic, the pool table. Who'd you thrash? Well, who's always there? Alfie. Mm. Spent the last hour thrashing him. Couldn't resist it. No, don't suppose you could. Oh, you thought that, did you? Hmm. Uh, well, I'll have to get back to you on that. <clears throat> ah, just checking. I put the numbers in properly. It's going to take me another week to find out how to text on this thing. Why the rush? Well, I've got people to see, places to go. Remember those days in Spain when we didn't get up till lunchtime? Yeah, for me it was love and you, more like a hangover. No, well, whatever it was, the best way of starting the day that I know how. It's not that bar ever made any profit. Come on, your club doesn't open for hours yet. Well, I suppose there's still time for breakfast in bed. That's a table for two at 5.30 5 this evening in the name of Den Watts. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Right. Where was I? Well, I think you were running late, weren't you? Well, I've got an excuse now, haven't I? Mm. See you later. Yep. Got a table for Dan Watts? Um, hi. <laughs> I think there's been a, a mistake. I'm, I'm Chrissy, I'm Dan's wife. I texted a friend on his mobile today and I must have got the wrong number because you're here and she's not. 
I don't know about any text. Den rang me this afternoon, suggested we met up. Oh, he did, did he? He'll tell you, here he is now. All right, Den. Well, good to see you, mate. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. Isn't it just? So what are you doing here? Well, I was meant to be meeting a friend, but we seem to have got our wires crossed. Oh, with all this modern technology, you wouldn't think these things could still happen. No, you'd have thought so, but I don't think it's the technology that's a problem, Den. I think it's the people. Well, you're here, and uh, we're here, so why don't you join us? I'd love to. Time. And I learned a few things about you too. Oh, it's a good job we didn't make a night of it then. Yeah, it was a shame Will had other plans. But understandable since you called him at such short notice. Look, when the restaurant rang to confirm a booking that I hadn't even made, I thought, well, why waste it? Well, all worked out all right in the end then. You don't have to worry, you know that. What? That I made Will late? You really don't have to worry. Chrissy. Mm -hmm. What have you done with them? With what? My clothes. What's wrong with that? Well, you're right, there's absolutely nothing wrong with these. I'll wear them down the club tonight, start a new trend. Well, make Pauline Fowler's day. Oh, please, not at breakfast time. They're at the laundrette and the express dry cleaners. Well, all of them. I'd like to be thorough. Yeah, you do, don't you? Don't worry, I'll be back tonight. Are you sure you can trust me? Room for the market traders. You want to be careful, darling. I could have the whole of the Women's Rugby Federation hiding under the bar. Well, knowing you, Dan, you probably have. Oh, for goodness sake. How many times do I have to tell you? You're the only woman who means anything to me, even though you do act like an old rouse like most of the time. You do believe me, don't you? Stupidly enough, I do. Hold up. I'm trying to have my breakfast. Afterwards. What? You're having your breakfast afterwards. Yeah, of course I'm on my own. Nah, she's upstairs doing whatever you women do to try and make yourselves look attractive. I just want to warn you about tonight, that's all. Could be a bit tricky. Of course I still want you to come. We can't turn down the chance, can we? I know it's public, but that's half the fun. Or we might get a moment. OK. See you later, bye. Uh, Dan. Um, um, I'm off to the salon now. Uh, have a good day, sweetheart. Yeah, bye. Coming right up. Tea, please, Anne. Whew, been busy today. <laughs> All the girls want my nails done for your do tonight. You coming along? Hmm. Ian asked me. Mm. And anyway, I'm tired of being Cinderella and doing everybody else up to go out while I stay at home. Yeah, tell me about it. Well, this Cinderella has had enough. What do you mean? Only that my ever adoring husband has arranged to meet his latest bit of skirt at the do tonight. What? Yeah. I heard him on the phone earlier, fixing it up, right under my nose. So I think I'd better go along, don't you? You mean he's having an affair? Okay, he's always having an affair. And then I'm always leaving him, that's the way the relationship works. Only this time he's playing a little bit too close to her. She's going to be at that do tonight. I probably know her. Might even be doing her hair for her now, tarting her up for him. So if he hasn't got the guts to introduce us himself, I'm going to have to do it myself. Chrissy, come on, are you sure about this? When you two are finished, yeah, I'll be right with you. Look, come on, you're upset. Let me just cancel your appointments. No, I am not upset, babe. I am just seriously annoyed. I've got an investment to protect. That's why I'm not letting this go. So if you want to see a show tonight, you come along. Do you want to give an old man out attack or not? Well, how about this one? That sort of thing I'd go for it. Well, that case sold, how much? Tenner. I'm saying Kelly's got off a spade match on your own. You are quick. Well, you don't mean you're to the ground. Are you coming, Mark? Yeah. Anything exciting out there? Well, that's a matter of opinion. Got a eyes in the back of your head with some of them. Still, you should know that, being married to Dennis Watts. You've known him long? Ever since he was in short trousers. Charming little girls out of their sweeties. Nothing changes. <laughs> No. I must have done this a hundred times. Oh, do you remember that night we met? Oh, yeah. You said you'd give me a trial. You weren't wrong there. Oh, what was the name of that chef I had? Andre. <laughs> From Warsaw. <laughs> no wonder his tapas wasn't up to much. Well, you soon kicked him in the touch. Hmm. That's my speciality, isn't it? As well as a mean patatas bravas. Oh, and I know you like the hot stuff. Hot the better for me, sweetheart. Like that red dress you were wearing. <laughs> like a flame. Things weren't good without you, Chrissy. I'm glad you're here now. Yeah, me too. Then, let's not go to the party tonight. Let's stay in. Where's that come from? 
I'm allowed to have you to myself once in a while, aren't I? Big night. Sharon and Dennis will be waiting. Yeah, but they're grown-ups. They can handle it without you. <laughs> I doubt it. But it's good here, isn't it? Oh, it's great. Then stay. There's nothing you have to be at that club for, is there? No. Well, then again, it could be fun. Ready for battle, Mrs. Watts? I certainly am. Welcome to the party. Evening. Hello, Harry. Last of centenary punch. Have you got any beers? Yeah, of course we have them behind us. Oh, typical. Always the ugly ones turn up first. No one's ever photogenic, are they? Yeah, well, don't worry, Dan. I'm sure the pretty girls will be turning up soon. Talk with the devil. Well, you should be the other side of the camera, darling. Listen, feel free to roam, all right? And don't mind us, because we've got nothing to hide. Famous last words, Dan. I thought this was a community event, Sharon, you know, that we can all participate in. I think we've had enough participation from you. Yeah, well, I'd like to do my bit for local economy. Problem, Princess? No, not really, Dad. I was just explaining our door policy to Sam. I think we can always make an exception to the rule, especially for one of our many special friends. Oh, well, it's nice to be appreciated, Dan. Thanks. Never discount a pretty face. Well, darling, I must say that was very generous of you to be so welcoming to a girl who you know burnt down this club. Oh, we are, darling. We're all going to be on show tonight, so I hope you won't be too bored. Oh, darling. I'm sure I'll find something to entertain me. <laughs> well, that's filling up nicely, darling. Yeah, well, it never looks good at half empty club. Can't really let your hair down, can you? Yeah. Oh, it's Danny on. You're trying to get me legless. You suggest I try and take advantage of a lady. Would I? Sonia, glad you can make it, darling. Oh, so am I. There you go. Enjoy yourself. Thanks. Oh, oh you made it. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. I heard there was free booze, so it must be my round. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Uh, I don't think she's here yet. Well, do you know what? Maybe she isn't coming, or maybe there isn't a How's it going, all right? Kate, okay, I doubt it. I'll speak to you in a minute. All right. Give me a call when you get this. See you later, bye. Hey, don't mind me if you've got calls to make. I'll just sit down here and watch. Well, that's right. There's nothing that can't wait. Unless, of course, uh, you want to make a call. Yeah, not right now. Well, that makes two of us then, doesn't it? Eh? Ah, what are we like? Do you think this is a good idea? Us neglecting the guests? But I thought you were the one who wanted a private party. Yeah, I did earlier. But now we've got company, I think it's rude not to share. Come on, Den. We don't want to miss the new arrivals. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, um, do you know, uh... You landed. You landed. This is what? Oh, no, it's Chrissy. We're all friends here. No, Patrick tonight. Do you know football highlights? So oh, men and their little games, eh? Well, I'm sure you girls have got plenty of wiles of your own. <laughs> we certainly have. Yeah. Mary's been spending a lot of time at ours recently, hasn't she? Yeah, well, that's Dennis's magnetism for you. Are you sure you know where we get that? Oh. You going so soon? Yeah, a bit of a late way these days. Listen, uh, have you seen anyone yet? That's probably a good thing. Yeah, or well, maybe I'm watching the wrong people. <laughs> and I. See ya. Excuse me, Mum. Have you done my my asking? I'll top your way. Yes, it's new on tonight. Uh, where'd you get it from? It's just that I saw one exactly like it in the market today. Hardly. Mine's designer. Little treat from the fella. <laughs> uh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Right, have a bit of ask, please, boys and girls. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. Well, I'd just like to say how lovely it is to see you all here tonight. As most of you know, I was brought up in Albert Square in the Queen Vic. So it's a real pleasure for me to host 
one of the centenary celebrations. Uh, in a moment, Nigel. And Market Inspector is going to say a few words about the centenary. But first, I'd like to add my own little tribute to you, the market traders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of you. you know, you guys are the heart and soul of Albert Square. You're the lifeblood of this community. So here's to you, the market, and another hundred happy years. And Dad. Uh, I'm sure we'll all agree that uh, you and your family have put on a marvellous show here for us tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not over yet. Excuse me, love. I think you've forgotten something. This. Oh. I'm sorry for forgetting my manners. How rude. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Chrissy Watts, Den's wife. That's right, his wife. I'm the one he's been lying and cheating to. What are you going on about? Making a spectacle of yourself. Yeah, well, this is what you pushed me to, Den. I saw you. She was calling you on your mobile right under my nose. I haven't rung anyone. I've just been on the phone to my Brian. Brian, will you tell her? What's going on? What have you been doing with my wife? I think we'd best sort this out in the office. Uh. All right, folks, that's it. Show's over. Brian, I'm sorry. I mean, what can I say, mate? Here. Take this. We were just going to come into the office, the three of us, for a meeting. I was only ringing you, Brian, just to see where you were. That top. I saw you buy that top on Zoe's stall today. No, you didn't. The top I bought is this one, as a surprise for you. And if you were to look properly, you'd see it wasn't even the same. I bought her that top. It cost 150 quid. I really thought no, you I know were... exactly what you thought. I'm going to get you out. Princess, sort this out. Oh. See you soon, Brian. Well, I hope you're satisfied. What do you think my customers are supposed to think? Same as me if I'd have caught you out. That you're a lying, two-faced dog. You didn't catch me. You just made yourself look stupid. Funny time to have a business meeting, wasn't it? 10.30 at night. Brian's a rep. He's only in town at night. Ask Debs to get him to call round. So who were you on the phone to? Me? Yeah. Brian was on the phone to Debs, OK. But you were on the phone at exactly the same moment. I don't know, a mate. Oh, the phone goes all the time. Oh, it was Ronnie Arthur's. He wanted me to do a deal for his daughter's 18. Ronnie Arthur? You really expect me to believe? You can believe whatever you want. Debs was just a business deal, was she? It would have been. Until you pulled that stunt and mate of mine was going to take a bulk consignment off them. Been plenty of commission for me. But there you go. I saw you sneaking off into the office to make a private call. I caught you in the act, then. To phone Brian and Debs. They were running late. There was no reply. So I took it they were on their way round. Look, I offered you the phone. Would I have done that if I'd been talking to a woman? All you had to do was press redial. Oh, so that's your game, is it? Get me out of the way and then sneak back in and have a little look yourself. Oh, give me some credit, do. Well, do you blame me? She was all over you. So Debs fancies me. Look, I'd have gone along with it just to clinch the deal, but she's not my type. I wouldn't have looked at her. There you go, some strong black coffee. Oh, I'm not drunk. I didn't say you were. And I'm not mad either. No, but you've got a problem with that temper of yours. And I've heard about you women with their hormonal problems. Don't you dare patronise me, Den Watts. I'm not just one of your women. What women, Chrissy? Come on, what women? I heard you on the phone. Oh, here we go. I thought we'd gone through all that. Not tonight. This morning. You thought I was upstairs. And? And you were on the phone to a woman and you were making arrangements to see her tonight. Oh, come on, while you're upstairs, oh, do you think I'd do something stupid like that? So who were you on the phone to? The photographer from the Gazette. You said it was going to be tricky, but that you'd try and find some time. Yeah, tricky in the crush. I was trying to get a mugshot of what's behind the bar for posterity. Going to do it at the end of the evening, but we never got the chance. Oh, I'm going to have to go for all my phone calls now, Albie. Should I take them for you? Oh, don't be ridiculous. What, me? You're trying to say I'm paranoid? Yes. Yeah, well, you may have an answer for everything, but I know what I heard, and I know what I feel. And it doesn't explain the rest. What rest? There was a hair den on your clothes. Her hair? Yeah, and it wasn't one of mine. I'm a hairdresser, I do know the difference. It could be anybody's. From the street, the club, brush up against someone in the shop. Oh, don't tell me you haven't got any hairs on you when you come home at night. And what about Monday night at the Vic? What about it? I finished the stop take earlier, I went over there. Cat said you never showed up. It's not a crime, is it? No, but you told me you'd been there all night. Oh, who's taking notes now? The point is, Den, you lied to me. I didn't think it was such a big deal. <sighs> Look, I was doing some business over in Deptford. Business? Yes, business. And I didn't want you to know in case it went wrong and the police started sniffing around. And the night of Vicar's 18th? That mate you were with? 
The one who died several years earlier. What about that? The same deal. I've been setting out for a while long before you came back on the scene. I was trying to protect you. But if you want to be kept informed of all the bits and bobs... Oh, don't be ridiculous, then. Well, go on, then. What else? You're always on your mobile. You're never on the landline. Like 99% of the population. Look, have a scroll through the addresses if you want. Go through me pockets, have a rummage round me underpants. I'm sure you've done it before, so why don't you do it again if you think Stop I've got something to hide? Stop it, Dan. No, no, I want you to, so you can sort your own mind out. Look, it is just a feeling I've got. It's just a sense, all right? Look, you're getting yourself in a state over nothing again. And that's my fault. I keep forgetting you're new round here. Dumped in at the deep end. You don't know who's who. But I keep thinking you're such a feisty cow, you can cope with that. Look, I didn't think you wanted us to be in each other's pockets 24 hours a day. I don't. Well, then. Look, you can't blame me, Den. I know if it's on offer, you never refuse. Oh, here we go, like Spain all over again. Yeah, exactly. And look what happened there. Look, I don't mind you having a pop at me. I signed up for that. But you attacked that poor girl. Like that girl tonight, and then you trashed the bar. Our bar, your bar. That poor girl, you were kissing her so hard, Den, you should have got a room. <laughs> She was a tour guide. She was doing it as a bet. Yeah, and you were more than happy to oblige. And you're lucky she didn't call the police what you did to her. And then you walked out without a word. Yeah, well, there was nothing left to say. Oh, yes, there was. But you wouldn't say it because you've got your feelings, your wonderful instinct. <sighs> Look, I'm not your new man. I'm not your PC stay-at-home type. I never have been, never will be, and never pretended to be. OK, so I flirt with the ladies. And all the blokes think I'm Jack the Lad. But it's just a bit of fun. Then why don't you stop it if it doesn't mean anything? Because it's business. I run a bar. We run a bar. That's what the punters expect. But that doesn't change any real feelings that we have between us. But how do I know that's not an act? The way you are with me. You don't. You've just got to trust me. And if you can't, well, I can't take it anymore. All this snooping. Looks. Stress. You don't think I don't know you're going through my pockets every time my back's That's turned? That's not fair. Isn't it? And I bet you've been following me around like a private detective all day. How do you think that makes me feel? No, I can't help it. Look, Jen, Chris, I'm... what can I say and do to make you believe me? Look. If you can't believe me, then we might as well call it a day because it's no good for any of us. I love you. You've got to believe me. It's the truth. And if you can't believe me, if you can't take me for the way I am, then fine, it's your choice. Just like it was in Spain. But I hope you do stay around because I want you to. But you've got to stop seeing bogey women popping out from every corner. What is it you want, Chrissy? I want you. Now you don't have to. I'm going to go back over the club, give man a clear up, make sure there's no trouble at chucking out time. Well, I thought I was your trouble tonight. Oh, well, that's so very nice, sweetheart. Oh, yeah, if you're lucky. Well, come with me if you want. I can wait till you get your clothes back on. No, you're all right. I'll wait here. Dan, I'm, I'm really, really sorry about tonight. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm glad we got it sorted. I'll help me back as quick as I can. Keep it warm for me. All right. Surely I'm worth the wait. 